Hey, this is Donna Lynn. I'm back for another video. Uh, this video is going to be about some dressed candles I did back during the holidays for my sisters. Yeah, I know I'm late, but it is what it is. So um, the first thing I did was make some beeswax candles. Beeswax candles are great because they produce negative ions, which purify and cleanse the air around you. And they burn longer than other paraffin candles or any other types of candles. So just then I was showing you all the ingredients and now we'll get right into what they are specifically and what they do. Um, the music in the background is just some space music I like to play in case anyone was wondering. Found it on YouTube. Okay, the first ingredient is going to be honey. And honey is great for sweetening and holding things together. So, of course, I want to wish sweetness in my sister's lives, and I want all the things I'm adding after the honey to stick and, you know, hold together. So, there you go. And I just want to make sure that's spread out very well because that'll help the things I'm putting on afterwards stay in place. The next thing I'm going to do is put some holes into the wax, which normally I would do before I added the honey. Um, and this will help ensure that the things I add to the candle as I'm dressing it, or as it burns really, will not just sit on top. It'll help the candle burn smoother and, you know, help it be a safer burn because you do have to be careful with dress candles because of all the extra stuff that's on it. It's a little bit more possible to cause a fire. So when you first start a dress candle, I recommend to watch it for a bit. I mean, it should always, you should always be around while your candles are burning anyway, but just to make sure it's burning smoothly and none of the ingredients are, you know, catching fire or nothing crazy is happening. Another thing I did do, which I don't believe shows in this video, uh, is I carved my sister's names in the wax, and that's definitely something else that should have been done first, but I thought about it after the fact. So that's something that when you do yours, you should do first. Um, carve the names, I would suggest, first, and then you can you know, put a few small holes in. So I just wanted to make sure all the wax from the one candle stayed in the one candle and I didn't bring some from one to the other. I love doing this. I think it's so relaxing. I'll have to create some more. I actually haven't uh, done any more candles like this this year. Okay, looks like we're done with that. So the next ingredient is going to be the, no, oh, guess again, <laughs> the goddess Oshun oil. So Oshun oil is great for wealth, beauty, and love. And I found this oil at the Dark Realm Online Occult Shop. That's uh, Shira Star Goddess's shop. And I got a couple things from her that I'm going to be using on these candles. And this is a pre-made oil. And um, the next ingredient is an oil I made myself from a root 
that I got from her shop. And when you make your own oils, you can uh, simply just put the whatever it is you want to make the oil with, especially if it's like a root, in a glass jar or bottle or roller bottle or whatever. Just dark glass is best, and if you don't have that, um, just put it inside a cupboard where it's dark. So this is going to be the Jezebel oil that I'm using now. And that is good for drawing in wealth, riches, and attraction. And like I said, I made this oil from a root, and I got that also at the Dark Realm Online Occult Shop. I'll put the link to that shop in the description box. That one's a little hard to get out. It's just the bottle itself that I use. It's not the oil or the root. So next is another item I made myself, but I had this resin from me some years ago, so I just added the resin to some oil, and that's going to be the dragon's blood. And dragon's blood is great for protection, money, and strength. It's a nice, uh, beautiful sort of red color resin. You might have seen like a Dragon's Blood ink before, and they make it out of that resin. Next, I'm going to grab some white sage. And as I'm sure most of you know, white sage is great for cleansing and protection. There's a lot of little bits at the bottom of my uh, sage. I use it for smudging most of the time. So I just um, picking those smaller pieces out and breaking some if I need to, to make it small enough for dressing the candle. Another thing I've done with white sage is to make an uh, oil of that as well. And I think it's great if you're somewhere where you feel like the energy is negative and you can't just go, go around burning some sage or you're out and you're just feeling kind of off and you can, you know, rub a little bit of that on your skin. It does take quite a while to get the scent into the oil though. So that might be something you can do now and like give away for the holidays. So the next item is pink salt and because it's pink it's great for self-love and love and Himalayan salt is also wonderful for happiness, relaxation, peace, and calming. Basil. Basil is wonderful for money. Another great one for peace and happiness. It's also good for beauty, love, and protection. And here's the catnip. Catnip, I um, actually found that at Walmart. I think it was on sale, so it was a great price, especially for organic herb. And just because they sell it for cats, it's the same catnip as any other catnip. So. Um, catnip's wonderful for beauty as well, happiness, luck, playfulness, and love. <laughs> Cats are very playful around catnip. So that's always a wonderful thing to wish someone you love. Just It, you know, helps you stay youthful and remember times <laughs> when you love to play. I think we should always retain that no matter how old we get. Next ingredient is roses. And roses of course are a symbol of love. 
uh, great for passion, life, energy. And these are yellow roses, so yellow represents the sun. It's also great for joy, wisdom, and power. So I didn't film the rest that I added because I it was kind of an afterthought. So I also put cinnamon in, which is great for money, romance, attraction, and acceleration. So I wanted you know, these things to come in quickly for my sisters for 2020. So cinnamon's great for that. I added some star anise, which is great for psychic connection, awareness, divine healing, luck, and protection. I threw in some sand from Tobago, which is a gorgeous island. And that's uh, to wish my sister, sisters travel to beautiful places and for a warm, sunny heart. And I added 13 items and... 1 plus 3 is 4, 2020 is a 4 year, some people just use the master number 22, and that's about it, I hope you enjoyed my video, thanks so much for watching, please like, subscribe, and share.